Hey, I'm gonna be touring my old Minecraft worlds that I made when I was a wee lad. These worlds consist of Fortcraft, the Tower of Heck, and the entirety of the Cascade Kingdom from Mario Odyssey. I made these when I was really little, and I probably had way too much time on my hands. So we're just gonna be touring these around, and this is gonna be a first time reaction to seeing these worlds in a really long time. Make sure to stick around until the very end when we look at the Cascade Kingdom. It's built like one to one, it looks perfect, it looks exactly like it. So let's hop right in, looking at the first world, Fortcraft. Alright, so this was the starting area. So the idea of this map was that the old worlds, you were able to make them so that it was just like square and like there was no generation on the outside, but that kind of got ruined with an update. But before, it was literally just this area right here. And so this actually luckily gave us a really big variety. So there was like snow everywhere, forests, and some naturally generated structures and biomes. That worked well, but this is the starting area. It looks like we left the brick blocks. They got forced tutorials now. So this was the starting area. It looks like the floor got glitched out by this generation. Because before there was absolutely nothing here. Like this was just world border. Oh, the update board. Volcano Park. Animal statues. Pots of gold. Free, free May. Free May factory. And I guess I guess I like continuously updated this or something. I don't. I don't even know if I played this with anybody. So yeah, this is the bus stop. I think, yeah. These were like starting kits or whatever. So, so the idea of this was everyone would drop down into the big old map. Alright, and it was supposed to close in, just like, hit game Fortnite. But, like, there's no command blocks or anything like for this to actually work, so I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting. I think I just like making shit. Yeah, but I remember took minecart. Yep, yeah. and tore through this. You take the minecart. You hop in, and you're supposed to be wearing an elytra, which I'm not. So that you would glide down to whatever location that you want. So I mean, we can also go anywhere first. This spot right here is probably a big one that we can check out. I like barely remember these. So this is honestly first time reaction to these in a long, long time. All right, so this was, uh, let's just call it Dusty Divot because that's honestly what it is. Got a broken secret entrance. Ooh. Yeah, so it built like a, like a little, uh, like a warehouse, a group of warehouses. Yeah, and there are chests scattered around everywhere to collect loot. Is pretty friggin epic if you ask me yeah it's just a warehouse duo and the idea is you drop in you collect stuff you maybe get some wood some materials and stuff and you just find the other players here's the thing I know for a fact that there's definitely not more than two people in this world at a time so I don't know why I made this but that's not what we're looking at here we're looking at these builds these amazing builds, like this amazing car right here. Like it honestly like looks like real life. Do I have RTX on right now? I can't tell. Yeah, the loot definitely varies per location. I mean, just as it does normally. Okay, but looking back up here at the railroad system, so it looks like it starts off green telling you that you're almost at the end and then gradually turns all the way to red. Oh, it's the Fortnite Battle Bus, the iconic uh, my, uh, Fortcraft Battle Bus. I remember this. You would be able to get materials and build up, and you could look inside. And there's loot. It's probably the best loot in the entire game. Oh my god. I think there was better loot down there in the warehouse randomly. In there. Alright, uh, we'll take a look at that giant chicken in a moment, but let's look at the end here. Oh, the minecart's still going. So it turns from orange to red, and you get all the way to the end. And I bet you're thinking, what's gonna happen? You fall to your death. And it looks like... <laughs> and it looks like many people have fallen to their deaths here. Oh my gosh, look at all these minecarts. I guess... Oh! It's like a Jenga tower. Oh yeah, we're gonna knock this... This puppy over.
Oh yeah, that was worth it. That was like ASMR. All right, this village right here was definitely not built by me. This is randomly generated, but look here. This, these are the iconic Fortcraft sheds. The iconic Fortnite shed. The iconic Fortcraft sheds are spread around everywhere. They carry big loot. All right, taking a look over here, not too far from the warehouse, we have what looks to be an unfinished place. I think I remember this one. This is supposed to be like Tomato Town. Looks like some of the sign text was lost. Which is unfortunate. But looking inside, this looks to be like yeah, an abandoned restaurant. Like, ooh, there's uh, there's red blood in here. That's scary. Food even scarier. Is there? No, don't tell me this is. No, that's not. <laughs> that wouldn't be. It can't be. Big chicken statue. I think this is based off of there is a Minecraft like big chicken Lego set. I think I got that around this time, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a big chicken. And I don't even know if there's any, like, is there loot in it or something? Oh, there is. Oh, two of them. Ooh. Ooh, big loot. Okay. I just left that chicken's asshole open. Okay. Let's take a gander over here. I think I remember this place, like, a uh, log mill. Oh, this has text on it. Timber City. Awesome. This would have been an epic battleground. So, okay, I don't know if this is like a starter house or something. I don't really know what's going on here. I just, I just hand out this diamond gear like, like candy. There's no balance in this. But yeah, just looking around here. Got some crappy roads that leads to nowhere, they're not even built under the ground or on top of the ground because I guess I didn't have time to break into the ground. Let's look inside the giant sawmill. Okay, pretty typical for a sawmill, just random floating platforms that go nowhere. It's like a, like an abstract stair painting in here. Oh wait, maybe you didn't start a building. No, you had to. Why would there be... I don't know why there's a second one in there. Oh, oh, Statue of Life. That's some good stuff. If you get that, you're winning the whole game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this? The, Z <laughs> the Xander Meat Maker. Oh my god, the Xander Meat Maker? Let's test this bad boy out. Oh my god. Yeah, so pretty much if you got the Xander Meat Maker, it was game over. Got some... Got another little shed. Yeah, so the idea of, uh, well, the name being Fort Craft, so you build forts and you craft shit. Hence the name Fort Craft. I don't know what happened here. I think this is, yeah, definitely glitch with the border, but I don't know why there's just a random boat there. I think this was like more ocean down this way. Oh, this poor shed got partly destroyed. Some building blocks in there, that's pretty good. If I dropped there, I would be ecstatic. Yeah, so the sheds are just honestly spread everywhere. Like, just about everywhere that you look, you can tell. But hold on. The chest on top of the iconic tall Fortcraft ice spike. You know this is gonna be good. Let's go take the Xander Meat Maker somewhere else. This looks like an unfinished creeper. Interesting. Ah, uh, the iconic Fortcraft graveyard. Greepy graveyard, because that's a word. Uh oh, here lies Fortnite. Fam, you getting wrecked by Fortcraft boy. Xander from 2017 to 2018. That that checks out. Yeah, so I guess Fortnite is under here. I just broke that beautiful sign. Okay, and uh, okay, I guess there's nothing under there. Hey, let's take a <laughs> all right let's take a look all right let's take a look at a few of the gravestones here here lies Xander that, that's me he got wrecked in Fort Craft boy like, again just like that other sign there okay and then I guess you can dig under here and get some loot I don't know what this is why is that backwards the realer 
Here lies Mario, like uh, from Hit Game Mario. He jumped off that building. And you get a piece of bedrock, one block of bedrock. Yes. Why did Mario have that? Here lies Uganda Knuckles. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? I know the way. You have to have a bulla to know the way. <laughs> they said the meme would not die though. Oh my god. Okay, so moral of this graveyard here is that I was really funny during 2017-2018. So that's really cool. Honestly, some good memories here. I don't regret making any of this at all. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Don't say I'm embarrassed. I'm not. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's move on. Hmm. I'm not sure. Shut the hey. f*** up. I don't know if that picked up on the mic, but it's a stupid f***ing thing. Alright, igloos. I don't know if this is the naturally generated one or if I made this. It looks like I might have made this. This Frostwalker. Ah, you can find Frostwalker in it, right? I'm pretty sure there's, like, stuff down here. Never mind. Okay, it's not the naturally generated one. Okay, so this is the iconic Fortcraft uh, Tundra. The iconic Fortcraft Tundra right here. Takes up the most spot on the Fortcraft map. Everyone's favorite place to drop from what I've heard. But look at this, when there is a Fortcraft shed hanging out in the middle of the ocean, you know. You just know deep down in your heart there's good movement. Hell yeah. But this caught my eye over here. This appears to be a golden Fortcraft shed. Oh baby. Yeah, these docks are littered everywhere. Just about everywhere, I guess, like the travel, whatever, make it more convenient. So this right here, this would be the bottom left corner of the map, little island. Let's take a gander what's in here. Larry's logs for all you shelter home. That's awesome. There's nothing in here. Am I crazy? What does this have to do with it? Larry's lo You would think that there would be like wood loot or something. I don't know. Here, I know this spot right here. I remember this. I don't know what this is called, but this is supposed to be like some kind of like mine in this tiny little mountain. But I remember you go down. You can go down in here. And look at this. It goes all the way down here. I don't think there's anything down here, but... Taking a look up here, you can go into the freaking nether, baby. I guess to collect like wither skull. Oh my god. I don't think when I made this, the nether update was out. Or I mean, maybe 2017, 2018. I don't remember what the years were. But yeah, that's kind of pointless. I don't know why. That kind of breaks it because you can just infinitely like go in the nether, I think. So, logistically, I don't know how that would work with a Battle Royale Minecraft game. Which is a bit of an oversight. That would not happen nowadays. Alright, right here. I remember this. I accidentally glossed over it. This is like Snowman's Land or something. Look at that little guy. Yeah, so this is at the dead end of the drop. So I guess if you don't drop, you can come over here. So, little, little Snowland. Night chest plate. Interesting. We'll pop that. I wonder if there's anything. Nope. Nothing at the bottom of the quartz well. At the top of the tower, some ender pearls. That, that's some good. That's some dang good loot right there. Or some dang good loot right there. I tell you that much. So yeah, this world is honestly not as interesting as what the other ones are gonna be. Simply because this is like pre-generated world, but I just kind of put stuff throughout it. Some more sheds all around, of course. The iconic Fortcraft sheds. Okay, now we're in this corner of the map, top left. So if you come all the way out here to this Fortcraft shed, there's gotta be something good in here, right? What the? That's insulting. If I came all the way. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this? Oh my gosh. This is kind of dumb because there's an enchantment table all the way down over there. And then you get all the enchantment stuff on this side, so. I guess you have to know the strat. Let's fly down over here to the savannah. There's a little town here, and then we'll look at the mushroom area. And that's probably about it, and then we'll probably move on. 
at this town right here. I don't know what's going on here. I think, actually, I think I remember there was a pig hanging by a leash over the lava. So this town is pretty dead. Oh my God. There's one chest here. Hey, don't drop uh, the savannah if you're playing Fortcraft. The big chair, the big Fortcraft chair. Get some healing potions. And honestly, the chair is a W place to land. See something out in the distance over there. We'll check that out in a moment. Uh, this is the um, mushroom town. That's pretty good. Some god apples. A little mushroom tower. Yeah. That leads into nothing. It's purely decoration. Okay, I guess. I get the loot's just not being handed to you. Gotta make it yourself, I guess. If there's anything to, oh, there is something here. See, younger me was a bit of a jokester. He was a bit of a funny man, some may say. All right, and over to the top right corner of the map. Let's take a look here. There's a tomato, by the looks of it. Like, like a Fortnite tomato head, holy crap. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. That's good, I guess. I think maybe like one person played this with me like one time, so I don't know why I made all this. I think that's that's what we're going to have to figure out, exploring all of these, is why in the world I made all of these. I have a bit of a theory right now, but I, I dare not utter it. Oh, this shed is in a tree. This is really, this is really interesting stuff. Golden sword and some cookies. Hey, let's stop over by here real quick, and then that'll have been like most of the locations. Fishing hut, I guess. Okay. Honestly, it's not bad. Hey, maybe one day we'll come back and make a Fortcraft chest tier list. Not right now. But here are the UFO. I remember this was on the update board. There's no way inside of it unless you build up here. Feather Falling 4, so you can get back down. That's cool. So that was Fortcraft. Probably the most underwhelming of the bunch, but I mean, there's still some cool little builds here. Like, nice little premise. Nothing will compare to the Tower of Heck and the Cascade Kingdom, though, so you gotta stick around. I'm telling you right now. So I think that's about everything, so let's go check out the Tower of Heck. Can I have mm, burger? Mm, <laughs> Entering in the Tower of Heck, there was a game on Roblox back in the day called the Tower of Hell. I remember playing it. It was like a really hard like obstacle course or whatever. You go all the way up, you fall, you're at the bottom. I just remember playing the hell out of that. So now, introducing the Tower of Heck. Because I was a little baby, I wasn't allowed to swear. I wasn't allowed to say bad words. So, exploring around the little base right here. This is interesting. So we got a store. We got a store here. So you only get one every day. So I guess these are... Okay, look. Leaping. Okay, so you get like little... Little power-ups and stuff every day. To help you out. Fire resistance. There's... It was like a lava trap at the top. You got the elimination station. I think I remember this. Like if you fall from like right here, you take fall damage. You don't want to deal with falling and dying to fall damage. The update board. Finish the tower effect. This, I just know that this was hype right in that. Care not? Oh, I think I remember there were things to write here. Uh, yeah. Okay. This right here. Hmm, what in the world could this contraption be? Yeah, that's what that is. This right here. Oh, there's a little paper. Find music discs. 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 Find, mu find music discs to use them. Okay, I think I remember there were hidden music discs. This under here, this floor, the little coral reef down there. Wow, oh, this is beautiful. Is it not? Oh, 
crap. All right, so we can dry this out for a little bit just to show off my build and then we'll fly all the way up. So floor one, the iron path. There's some short, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not doing that. So there's some shortcuts you can go around a long way. You could like be a little riskier, go through the middle. And this one's pretty straightforward. Floor two, pushing walls. Uh, this is like a uh, wipeout. I don't, I think these would actually push you off. Yes, they would. Ah, here's a hidden music disc. If you go through the middle and you look up, you can break that and you can listen to music. How awesome is that? Low collectibles. This one's also pretty straightforward. Split decision. So I guess I made some pretty fun little names. So, I feel like one side obviously looks easier than the other. So I don't know why you wouldn't just go here. Yeah, we're just gonna speed through these. Chimney jumps. This one was a whole like maze. You gotta go around the side here. And you come up here. And climb all the way up here. And boom. You're on four or five bar jumps. Now this one's a cool little pattern, is it not? Definitely gotta be slow and careful there. Slime land. Another hit of music that's wow, look at me go. Look at me go. Yeah, you pretty much just bounce it by the looks of it. I, I thought you actually bounced off one of them. I must have got rid of that. Oh, no, never mind, right here. Let me try that out. Oh, look at that. I still got it in me. Now this one, okay. This one's a little boring. Sca scaffold, scaffold stairs. Not scaffold, scaffold. This one's pretty easy, I think. Oh, I remember how this was designed. So you can go through them, but instead of fully jumping, it just slowly brings you up. So if you're not careful, it'll just slowly bring you up instead of actually jumping. Yep, just like that. Good job, younger me, you got me. Floor eight wall hug. I have a bit of a confession. Okay, I know that you stand on the edge here, and you can definitely make it. But some of these, I definitely remember like, Oh, I can, you can do one of these. I know that's possible. That's definitely possible, but I know I definitely did not do two of these in a row. In one go, I was just like, oh, you can do one, so it's possible to do two in a row. If I remember correctly, there are 25 floors of this, so, I mean, we'll just quickly fly through these. Soul Sand Way. A little tricky. Then we got Winter Wonderland. A little slippery. Ah, uh, this one I remember. You gotta take a boat to get through the little spot, but you'll fall out the end if you don't get out quick enough. Arrow salt for floor 11. Uh, oh, cool little uh, little drones with propellers, skeletons to shoot you. Sneaky fences. Oh, this one's interesting. You gotta go up this. Uh, okay, it's not actually that. Interesting. Rings. Okay, this, this is like what I was talking about down there. You can definitely do one of these, but I could not do four of these in a row. I'll try it now. Because, yeah, you gotta jump at the right time to not hit your head. It's just a pain. And I, yeah, I don't think you can get on top of them. This one. Okay, this is the probably the biggest contender for this issue. Because I know that there's tech where you can open a shulker box as you jump. Let's try that again. Yeah, like this. You can open it as you're jumping. Yeah, it's hard. I remember I did it one time and it was like, yep, uh, put a whole row of them. Put a whole row of them. They won't have any trouble doing that. Well, look at me now. Can't do this. Ladder parkour. Pretty straightforward, just go all the way around. There's ladders, just jump around. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. We're almost at the top. Stick with it. Iron Path Returns. Ooh, from floor one. Look at that, wow. Okay, I, sh I swear, I remember, I, I might be misremembering this, I don't see a fence, but I swear there was a group of horses hanging by leads, like over top of this, and it would be like distracting you. I swear I remember that. I, I came, I saw. That's a reference and a half right there. See, so we're actually doing this one. I bet you can hear my keyboard clicking. That's 
My bad, my mic is shitty. Invisible path. Oh, this one's evil. I think I think it's like, oh, uh, you can't uh, freaking make this. Barrier blocks, baby. I look down there. I, I built all this. Keep in mind, I built these walls all by hand. This was built on the Nintendo Switch. I just ported it over. And the next floor mixed up. This one's, uh, this one's kind of interesting. It's just like really abstract, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. Oh, floor 20, the Minecraft quiz. We're almost there. What year did Minecraft release? 2013 or 2011? I honestly, I think 2011. Nice. I think the other door, yeah, there's just a lot of there. Is Fortnite a good game? Oh, I mean, they added Peter Griffin, so yeah. Mm. That guy's funny, that's funny. I'm laughing. <laughs> that was that's a, that's a, that was a Minecraft quiz that asked one question about Minecraft and another one about Fortnite. Huh? Creeper, oh man. Creeper? Everyone knows Creeper, oh man. So we back in the mine, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. Okay, whatever. Whatever, I'm done. Piston parkour. This one's kind of, no, no, this one's definitely easier than the shulker boxes. <laughs> I say that as I fall off. This one's definitely easier than the shulker boxes. So you gotta be really smart and figure out which way you're gonna go. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I remember this, an ender pearl. Okay, get through the little hole. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's possible anymore. Will that have been patched? Like, I remember you could get through like the little hole. I don't know, I remember this being possible. Can, can you imagine being like little me? Imagine being my friend, okay? My, like one of my friends in school or something. It's like, yeah, I built, I built a giant obstacle course in Minecraft. Like, let's, let's play it. Can you imagine getting all the way up to floor 23? You have two floors left, and you get to this bullshit. You are falling into lava, and you're you're burning. Floor 24, nature's way. This is honestly really. Oh, what, well, what's the word? What's the word I'm thinking of? I can't. I can't think of the word. I know there's a word that's perfect for this. Like this is just really like really boring for the second to last stage. But here we go, the, the heckin' finale. You get it, Tower Heck, you get it, you get it? Okay, I remember this one. So this one is in order of one little bit of every single obstacle in the entire thing. So like, we got our, our iron path on the very first floor, then remember the second one pushed me off, like, or wipe out, remember, huh? Split decision, huh, remember, even though you can only go one way? Chimneys, so it, it just goes in order. See, the next one after chimneys is not sure because it's the iron bar thing. See, I remember this. This is, this is kind of a cool idea, I think. This brings you through like a little piece of every single thing. But, th but then you get to here and it's like, where do you go? There's definitely a way to cut like all this. Whatever. I think I remember. Shoot. Yeah, you end up somehow getting up here. I mean, if you go in order of everything, like that's how it is. So if you know the order, you can get up here, but... And I'm getting to here again. Ender pearls. This one's a lot easier. I don't know why this is easier. And you get to the top. Oh baby, it's the top of the Tower of Heck. Holy crap! But pri oh yeah, you get prize items. Wow. Free. F feel free to commit die. A.K. Okay. Mm. I can't say that word. So the top of the tower, so we'll, we'll hit the winner button in one moment. Let's just look on, look at the edge. Wasn't that nutty? 25 floors. Built by hand. Minecrafters make do, that's what they say. And let's just say I made do. Alright, let's hit the winner button. Incredible job, you are an epic parkour gamer. Now go waste your time somewhere else. I guarantee you that nobody has seen that. Yeah, so that was the Tower Effect. This is pretty cool. I, I'm honestly pr proud of this one. When, when it gets like this and it's like I actually finish a project like that, finishing something like that just feels so good. So I think now we'll move on to the Cascade Kingdom. Time to take a piss. 
What the hell? Okay, from now on, I'm gonna treat this tour like uh, like an awkward house tour, okay? All right, uh, so this is the crib. Yeah, uh, I live here. Yeah, I'm kidding, okay. This is the entirety of the Cascade Kingdom from Mario Odyssey. No, I say entire, it's like mostly the entirety. I guess I kind of, I guess I kind of lied. There's not like sub areas. But yeah, this is the majority of the Cascade Kingdom. So we start off, this is the Odyssey, the iconic Odyssey ship from the hit game Mario Odyssey. I definitely remember building this off of a tutorial. I don't know, I don't remember which one it was. But yeah, but this was built on the Nintendo Switch, so it had a Mario mashup pack, texture pack or whatever. So this actually looked vastly different than it does now. Like, I guarantee you the colors definitely fit a lot more than whatever I did here. So this is the beginning area, so if, if anyone has ever played it, you come off of the power lines. Oh, look at this! A diorite wiener! <laughs> that is... that's awesome. That's awesome. It's so funny. I guarantee you there are like five wieners hit, hidden throughout this. I guarantee it. Alright, this is the little binocular stand. And, and I know that you can see the Sphinx flying above. That's supposed to be even a, it's like five blocks. Yep, this was before spyglasses too, so I guess that would have definitely have a lot more. So the waterfall basin, this is the beginning area. I actually kind of climb around and stuff. We got our <laughs> first our first chain chomp. You can barely see a difference. Like this looks like it was ripped right out of the game. Inside its mouth. So that's interesting. So uh, we, we even got our little broken rock with the moon inside of it. Or a diamond, if you're me. Yeah, this is interesting. Be back soon. Please buy our products still. The big old smiley face one. Wow, that just makes... That just puts a grin on anybody's face. So this is supposed to be like the shop, I guess. I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know why you need to buy that. But here we got our caveman gear. Yeah, and you can decorate the Odyssey just like just like the game. Holy crap! Yeah, so I guarantee, like this this texture like kind of looks like crap, but I don't know. I might be able to get a screenshot of this with the texture pack, but I guarantee you it'll look good. So here we got the waterfall. Yeah, so I remember this was here in Hall School in the game behind the waterfall. The painting, huh? Who else remembers the painting? That's crazy. Oh, is that? Did that actually go somewhere? I wonder. Oh, nice. It doesn't take you to another world. Yeah, I remember I did like plan. I, I, I was like, after this, I'm like, I'm gonna build a, I'm gonna build a bunch of these. I'm gonna build the Sand Kingdom next, and that that like never started. And here we got another door. Yeah, okay, that leads to the underground. I remember. Yeah, let, let, let's explore the main attraction. Okay, the thing that I know just everyone came for. So we got our big rock at the bottom. Hey, this is the old Odyssey. I, that kind of looks uh, kind of similar. Here's another chain chomp. Uh, for a sec, I thought like I was playing Mario Odyssey. Here's the pipe that goes behind uh, the one block. Bring, it, bring yourself up here to this little standing area. It looks just like the game. Oh my gosh. Look at this view. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, checkpoint flag, whatever. Top of the old stub. I think that's the actual name of it. Yeah, but going past the chain chomp, so. Got our return right here. Yeah, so that definitely looked like question mark blog right there. Another pole here. I don't know what that is out there. Why is that? It's an axolotl. Yeah, this was not in the original game. Neither was that big hole in there. I think I made like custom little challenges or whatever to get moves or whatever. Even though I guarantee like nobody played this but me. I just, uh, I just made it, I guess, because I was bored. Now let's go see if I made the dinosaur. Spoiler alert, I definitely did not do that. And this is where the dinosaur is supposed to sit on top of this here. Just get this hand and moves out left and right, I guess. Now here's the big area with the big chain chomp. Oh my gosh, this looks even better than the last ones. Got a nice spacey interior on the inside, which is always nice. That's good property value here. Chess, let's take a look at what this is. This is supposed to be a question mark block. Oh, this is actually something here. 
This is actually something. Holy crap. Oh. Deposit 20 coins for one guess. No, thank you. Yeah, I think you're supposed to like guess. Or something. Yeah. Hey. Okay. I did not know you could edit signs. Okay, yeah. That's interesting. That wasn't in the original game either. Uh, I don't... You couldn't actually loop around in the original, could you? Maybe you could, uh, No, I think you could, actually. Hype here, I think this would go to that sub area. What is this down here? Please wait to be teleported. Please wait to be teleported. I guess I didn't discover command blocks yet, or something, I guess. I don't know. It's supposed to be a heart. Spin to oh, just like the, the sign in the real game. It's like, just like the real game. Okay, once when you get past here, the dinosaur usually like run over to the 2D section, right? But there's a bridge with a bunch of like little spiky guys on it. And I remember this bridge very fondly because this bridge, like, it looks like it was ripped straight out of the game. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I definitely didn't get my scaling right here. Oh my God. It looks like a little worm. Yep, got more of these blocks here, ripped like straight from the game. What a chain chomp once again. Ripped straight from the game. Yeah, there's uh, coins by there. But here is the 2D area. I think this is like really close to the original. You can actually go through it and everything. It's like I'm playing Mario. Oh my gosh. It's just like a nice little cool thing, I guess. If you're a true gamer, like me, you would know that you can actually go in the corner here, you can slip in. And you can go behind the waterfall. And there's a moon back there. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and watch more videos if you understood that. Okay, coming out to the top, we got Fossil Falls Heights, we're at the top now. Uh, this is where you can oversee everything. This is just beautiful. The weird thing, I will explain this, the water that is all the way out here. On the Switch, the render distance was like abysmal, so like, I, you could only see out to like right there. So, it's really weird like seeing this now and I can actually just like see everything. The Triceratops skull up here. I'll be honest, I didn't really do that justice. I think I remember there being like a secret room inside the head or something. You might be able to climb vines. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, look at that. You go on the nose. I think that's actually a moon in the game. You go on the skull. Or whatever. It kind of looks like crap. But still, I built this when I was really little. Like, And this is by hand. I remember like very vividly just building up these walls. Each one, one by one. I don't know how I had the dedication to do that. We go across the bridge here, and then we got the boss. I remember the boss being like a big like rabbit lady. I did not build that, I just built her little chain chomp with the hat. I guess that doesn't look too bad. That actually looks kind of good. And the floating sky islands off to this side. This is the, the post-game moon rock, I remember. Captain Toad is down here. Hi there, I've been traveling to the kingdoms for moons. Yes, you have. Yeah, that's the entirety of Cascade Kingdom in Minecraft. Oh, I for almost forgot the floating island. Of course, I am in the sky, of course. I don't know, uh, there's no way that you were able to just normally get up here, but it's still. Okay, we'll take a look over here. I know that this is a unfinished sub area. Yeah, I remember this sub area. So you start out here, go around the edge. And this is like big 2D. I remember like the changing platforms. I actually kind of finished that, interestingly. Yeah, you definitely were not able to see her there. I remember that much. But yeah, I remember this. Go through the 2D area. Moving platforms. All the way around, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was like kind of finished by the looks of it, but it wasn't really. Yeah, it looks like it's playable. Then up here, we'll check out the Flying Odyssey. It's got the glowing little bottom right there. But yeah, if you look here, next stop, the Sand Kingdom. There is no way in hell that I was ever going to build that. That is too ambitious. Yeah, but it's 
decked out with all the Cascade merch. And uh, I guess there's this here. And leaving the Cascade Kingdom. Overall, honestly, I remember what I did. I remember I took screenshots of the actual game. And then I would compare it while I was building. So I would close out the app, open the screenshot, and then go back into the game and build it. So honestly, I would say that this is pretty good for having to do all that crap. Oh my gosh. Alright, could you find all the penises in the Cascade Kingdom? If you could, leave a big ol' like down below. Here, I'll, I'll even show everybody one I even remember. Uh, PP Island. Oh, there's a moon even. Uh, PP Island. <laughs> PP Island. <laughs> oh, PP Island. Okay, PP Island. I love PP Island. PP Island is so funny. PP Island is so funny. I love being funny back in like 27, 2018. It's so funny. Yeah, so those are some of my old Minecraft worlds. I think I can finally answer the question of, like, why I build these. I think I honestly just love making stuff. Uh, I still do, honestly. Even if it's something as pointless as, as this, like, I probably honestly just showed this to, like, two people. So it's like, what's the point? I honestly, I think I just found enjoyment in doing it. And I think that's all that matters. So in conclusion, if you think you can't build because you're on, like, a console, you don't get, like, all these crazy tools, Oh, you can if you just spend hours a day just building tall granite walls. Then you too can achieve your dreams of building the Cascade Kingdom in Minecraft and the Tower Effect and Fortcraft. I understand why all the kids are playing this game these days. It's because they like to build Cascade Kingdom with Minecraft.